In mathematics, a Lie group is a group that is also a differentiable manifold, with the property that the group operations are compatible with a smooth structure. Lie groups are named after Sophos Lie, who laid the foundations of the theory of continuous transformation groups. The term groups de lie first appeared in French in 1893 in the thesis of Le Euro Unregistered Trademark S. Student Arthur Tress, page 3. Lie groups represent the best developed theory of continuous symmetry of mathematical objects and structures, which makes them indispensable tools for many parts of contemporary mathematics, as well as for modern theoretical physics. They provide a natural framework for analyzing the continuous symmetries of differential equations in much the same way as permutation groups are used in Galois theory for analyzing the discrete symmetries of algebraic equations. An extension of Galois theory to the case of continuous symmetry groups was one of Lie's principal motivations. Overview Lie groups are smooth differentiable manifolds and as such can be studied using differential calculus, in contrast with the case of more general topological groups. One of the key ideas in the theory of Lie groups is to replace the global object, the group, with its local or linearized version, which Lie himself called its infinitesimal group, and which has since become known as its Lie algebra. Lie groups play an enormous role in modern geometry, on several different levels. Felix Klein argued in his Elangian program that one can consider various geometries by specifying an appropriate transformation group that leaves certain geometric properties invariant. Thus Euclidean geometry corresponds to the choice of the group E, 3, of distance-preserving transformations of the Euclidean space A3, conformal geometry corresponds to enlarging the group to the conformal group, whereas in projective geometry one is interested in the properties invariant under the projective group. This idea later led to the notion of a G-structure, where G is a Lie group of local symmetries of a manifold. On a global level, whenever a Lie group acts on a geometric object, such as a Riemannian or a symplectic manifold, this action provides a measure of rigidity and yields a rich algebraic structure. The presence of continuous symmetries expressed by a Lie group action on a manifold places strong constraints on its geometry and facilitates analysis on the manifold. Linear actions of Lie groups are especially important, and are studied in representation theory. In the 1940s R Euro 1950s, Ellis Colchin, Armand Borel, and Claude Chevalier realized that many foundational results concerning Lie groups can be developed completely algebraically giving rise to the theory of algebraic groups defined over an arbitrary field. This insight opened new possibilities in pure algebra, by providing a uniform construction for most finite simple groups, as well as in algebraic geometry. The theory of automorphic forms, an important branch of modern number theory, deals extensively with analogues of Lie groups over Adele rings. Piadic Lie groups play an important role, by their connections with Galois representations in number theory. Definitions and examples A real Lie group is a group that is also a finite dimensional real smooth manifold, in which the group operations of multiplication and inversion are smooth maps. Smoothness of the group multiplication means that I one quarter is a smooth mapping of the product manifold Ga, G into G. These two requirements can be combined to the single requirement that the mapping be a smooth mapping of the product manifold into G. Equals first examples equals, the 2A, 2 real invertible matrices form a group under multiplication, denoted by GL, 2, R, or by GL2, R. This is a four-dimensional non-compact real Lie group. This group is disconnected. It has two connected components corresponding to the positive and negative values of the determinant. The rotation matrices form a subgroup of GL, 2, R, denoted by SO, 2, R. It is a Lie group in its own right, specifically, a one-dimensional compact connected Lie group which is diffeomorphic to the circle. Using the rotation angle as a parameter, this group can be parametrized as follows. Addition of the angles corresponds to multiplication of the elements of SO, 2, R and taking the opposite angle corresponds to inversion. Thus both multiplication and inversion are differentiable maps. The orthogonal group also forms an interesting example of a Lie group. 
all of the previous examples of Lie groups fall within the class of classical groups. Equals related concepts equals, a complex Lie group is defined in the same way using complex manifolds rather than real ones, and similarly, using an alternate metric completion of Q, one can define a p adic Lie group over the p adic numbers, a topological group in which each point has a p adic neighborhood. Hilbert's fifth problem asked whether replacing differentiable manifolds with topological or analytic ones can yield new examples. The answer to this question turned out to be negative. In 1952, Gleason, Montgomery, and Zippin showed that if G is a topological manifold with continuous group operations, then there exists exactly one analytic structure on G which turns it into a Lie group. If the underlying manifold is allowed to be infinite dimensional, then one arrives at the notion of an infinite-dimensional Lie group. It is possible to define analogues of many Lie groups over finite fields, and these give most of the examples of finite simple groups. The language of category theory provides a concise definition for Lie groups. A Lie group is a group object in the category of smooth manifolds. This is important, because it allows generalization of the notion of a Lie group to Lie supergroups. More examples of Lie groups. Lie groups occur in abundance throughout mathematics and physics. Matrix groups or algebraic groups are groups of matrices, and these give most of the more common examples of Lie groups. Equals examples with a specific number of dimensions equals, the circle group S1 consisting of angles mod 2 i euro under addition or, alternatively, the complex numbers with absolute value 1 under multiplication. This is a one-dimensional compact connected abelian Lie group. The three-sphere S3 forms a Lie group by identification with the set of quaternions of unit norm, called verses. The only other spheres that admit the structure of a Lie group are the zero-sphere S0 and the circle S1. For example, for even n greater than 1, Sn is not a Lie group because it does not admit a non-vanishing vector field and so a fortiori cannot be parallelizable as a differentiable manifold. Of the spheres only SO, S1, S3, and S7 are parallelizable. The last carries the structure of a Lie quasi group, which can be identified with a set of unit octonians. The metaplectic group is a double cover of SL, 2, R, playing an important role in the theory of the modular forms. It is a connected Lie group that cannot be faithfully represented by matrices of finite size, that is, a nonlinear group. The Heisenberg group is a connected nilpotent Lie group of dimension 3, playing a key role in quantum mechanics. The Lorentz group is a six dimensional Lie group of linear isometries of the Minkowski space. The Puankara copyright group is a ten dimensional Lie group of affine isometries of the Minkowski space. The group U, 1, SU, 2, uh, SU, 3, is a Lie group of dimension 1 plus 3 plus 8 equals 12 that is the gauge group of the standard model in particle physics. The dimensions of the factors correspond to the 1 photon plus 3 vector bosons plus 8 gluons of the standard model. The exceptional Lie groups of types G2, F4, E6, E7, E8 have dimensions 14, 52, 78, 133 and 248. Along with the ABCD series of simple Lie groups, the exceptional groups complete the list of simple Lie groups. There is also a Lie group named E7 a one-half of dimension 190, but it is not a simple Lie group. Equals examples with n dimensions equals, Euclidean space Rn with ordinary vector addition as the group operation becomes an n-dimensional non-compact abelian Lie group. The Euclidean group E, N, R, is the Lie group of all Euclidean motions, that is, isometric affine maps, of n-dimensional Euclidean space Rn. The orthogonal group O, N, R, consisting of all NA, N orthogonal matrices with real entries is an N, NA1, slash two-dimensional Lie group. This group is disconnected, but it has a connected subgroup S O, N, R of the same dimension consisting of orthogonal matrices of determinant 1, called the special orthogonal group. The unitary group U, N, consisting of N A, N unitary matrices is a compact connected Lie group of dimension N2. 
unitary matrices of determinant 1 form a closed connected subgroup of dimension n2 or 1 denoted SU, n, the special unitary group. Spin groups are double covers of the special orthogonal groups, used for studying Fermans in quantum field theory. The group GL, n, r, of invertible matrices is a Lie group of dimension n2, called the general linear group. It has a closed connected subgroup SL, n, r, the special linear group, consisting of matrices of determinant 1 which is also a Lie group. The symplectic group SP, 2n, r, consists of all 2n a, 2n matrices preserving a symplectic form on a 2n. It is a connected Lie group of dimension 2 and 2 plus n. The group of invertible upper triangular n by n matrices is a solvable Lie group of dimension n, n plus 1, slash 2. The A series, B series, C series and E series, whose elements are denoted by n, bn, cn, and dn, are infinite families of simple Lie groups. Equals constructions equals there are several standard ways to form new Lie groups from old ones. The product of two Lie groups is a Lie group. Any topologically closed subgroup of a Lie group is a Lie group. This is known as the closed subgroup theorem or Curtin's theorem. The quotient of a Lie group by a closed normal subgroup is a Lie group. The universal cover of a connected Lie group is a Lie group. For example, the group R is the universal cover of the circle group S1. In fact any covering of a differentiable manifold is also a differentiable manifold, but by specifying universal cover, one guarantees a group structure. Equals related notions equals, some examples of groups that are not Lie groups, are, infinite dimensional groups, such as the additive group of an infinite dimensional real vector space. These are not Lie groups as they are not finite dimensional manifolds. Some totally disconnected groups, such as the Gorlois group of an infinite extension of fields, or the additive group of the p-adic numbers. These are not Lie groups because their underlying spaces are not real manifolds. In general, only topological groups having similar local properties to Rn for some positive integer n can be Lie groups. Basic concepts equals the Lie algebra associated with a Lie group equals to every Lie group we can associate a Lie algebra whose underlying vector space is the tangent space of the Lie group at the identity element and which completely captures the local structure of the group. Informally we can think of elements of the Lie algebra as elements of the group that are infinitesimally close to the identity, and the Lie bracket of the Lie algebra is related to the commutator of two such infinitesimal elements. Before giving the abstract definition we give a few examples. The Lie algebra of the vector space Rn is just Rn with the Lie bracket given by a b equals zero. In general, the Lie bracket of a connected Lie group is always zero if and only if the Lie group is abelian. The Lie algebra of the general linear group GL n r of invertible matrices is the vector space M n r of square matrices with the Lie bracket given by a b equals a b a b a. If G is a closed subgroup of GL, N, R, then the Lie algebra of G can be thought of informally as the matrices M of M, N, R, such that 1 plus I micrometer is in G, where I micron is an infinitesimal positive number with I micron 2 equals 0. For example, the orthogonal group O, N, R, consists of matrices A with AAT equals 1, so the Lie algebra consists of the matrices M with 1 plus I micrometer, T equals 1, which is equivalent to M plus M T equals 0 because a micron 2 equals 0. Formally, when working over the reals, as here, this is accomplished by considering the limit as a micro or 0. But the infinitesimal language generalizes directly to Lie groups over general rings. The concrete definition given above is easy to work with, but has some minor problems. To use it we first need to represent a Lie group as a group of matrices, but not all Lie groups can be represented in this way, and it is not obvious that the Lie algebra is independent of the representation we use. To get around these problems we give the general definition of the Lie algebra of a Lie group, vector fields on any smooth manifold M can be thought of as derivations X of the ring of smooth functions on the manifold, 
and therefore form a Lie algebra under the Lie bracket, x, y, equals x, y, o, y, x, because the Lie bracket of any two derivations is a derivation. If G is any group acting smoothly on the manifold M, then it acts on the vector fields, and the vector space of vector fields fixed by the group is closed under the Lie bracket and therefore also forms a Lie algebra. We apply this construction to the case when the manifold M is the underlying space of a Lie group G, with G acting on G equals M by left translations LG, H, equals GH. This shows that the space of left invariant vector fields on a Lie group is a Lie algebra under the Lie bracket of vector fields. Any tangent vector at the identity of a Lie group can be extended to a left invariant vector field by left translating the tangent vector to other points of the manifold. Specifically, the left invariant extension of an element V of the tangent space at the identity is the vector field defined by Vg equals LGV. This identifies the tangent space Teg at the identity with the space of left invariant vector fields, and therefore makes the tangent space at the identity into a Lie algebra, called the Lie algebra of G, usually denoted by a fractal thus the Lie bracket on is given explicitly by V, W, equals V, W, E. This Lie algebra is finite dimensional and it has the same dimension as the manifold G. The Lie algebra of G determines G up to local isomorphism, where two Lie groups are called locally isomorphic if they look the same near the identity element. Problems about Lie groups are often solved by first solving the corresponding problem for the Lie algebras, and the result for groups then usually follows easily. For example, Simple Lie groups are usually classified by first classifying the corresponding Lie algebras. We could also define a Lie algebra structure on TE using right invariant vector fields instead of left invariant vector fields. This leads to the same Lie algebra, because the inverse map on G can be used to identify left invariant vector fields with right invariant vector fields, and acts as a one on the tangent space TE. The Lie algebra structure on TE can also be described as follows, the commutator operation, x, y, a x x1 yr1, on g a, g sends to e, so its derivative yields a bilinear operation on TEG. This bilinear operation is actually the zero map, but the second derivative, under the proper identification of tangent spaces, yields an operation that satisfies the axioms of a Lie bracket, and it is equal to twice the one defined through left invariant vector fields. Equals homomorphisms and isomorphisms equals, if G and H are Lie groups, then a Lie group homomorphism F, G H is a smooth group homomorphism. In the case of complex Lie groups, such a homomorphism is required to be a holomorphic map. However, these requirements are a bit stringent. Over real or complex numbers, Every continuous homomorphism between Lie groups turns out to be analytic. The composition of two Lie homomorphisms is again a homomorphism, and the class of all Lie groups, together with these morphisms, forms a category. Moreover, every Lie group homomorphism induces a homomorphism between the corresponding Lie algebras. Let be a Lie group homomorphism and let be its derivative at the identity. If we identify the Lie algebras of G and H with their tangent spaces at the identity elements then is a map between the corresponding Lie algebras. One can show that is actually a Lie algebra homomorphism. In the language of category theory, we then have a covariant functor from the category of Lie groups to the category of Lie algebras which sends a Lie group to its Lie algebra and a Lie group homomorphism to its derivative at the identity. Two Lie groups are called isomorphic if there exists a bijective homomorphism between them whose inverse is also a Lie group homomorphism. Equivalently, it is a diffeomorphism which is also a group homomorphism. Adu's theorem says every finite dimensional Lie algebra is isomorphic to a matrix Lie algebra. For every finite dimensional matrix Lie algebra, there is a linear group with this algebra as its Lie algebra. So every abstract Lie algebra is the Lie algebra of some Lie group. The global structure of a Lie group is not determined by its Lie algebra. For example, if Z is any discrete subgroup of the center of G then G and GZ have the same Lie algebra. A connected Lie group is simple, semisimple, solvable, nilpotent, 
or abelian if and only if its Lie algebra has the corresponding property. If we require that the Lie group be simply connected, then the global structure is determined by its Lie algebra. For every finite dimensional Lie algebra over F, there is a simply connected Lie group G with its Lie algebra, unique up to isomorphism. Moreover, every homomorphism between Lie algebras lifts to a unique homomorphism between the corresponding simply connected Lie groups. Equals the exponential map equals the exponential map from the Lie algebra M, N, R, of the general linear group GL, N, R, to GL, N, R, is defined by the usual power series. For matrices A, if G is any subgroup of GL, N, R, then the exponential map takes the Lie algebra of G into G, so we have an exponential map for all matrix groups. The definition above is easy to use, but it is not defined for Lie groups that are not matrix groups, and it is not clear that the exponential map of a Lie group does not depend on its representation as a matrix group. We can solve both problems using the more abstract definition of the exponential map that works for all Lie groups, as follows. Every vector v in determines a linear map from R to taking 1 to v, which can be thought of as a Lie algebra homomorphism. Because R is the Lie algebra of the simply connected Lie group R, this induces a Lie group homomorphism C, R G so that for all S and T, the operation on the right hand side is the group multiplication in G. The formal similarity of this formula with the one valid for the exponential function justifies the definition. This is called the exponential map, and it maps the Lie algebra into the Lie group G. It provides a diffeomorphism between a neighborhood of zero and, and a neighborhood of E in G. This exponential map is a generalization of the exponential function for real numbers, for complex numbers and for matrices with the regular commutator is the Lie algebra of the Lie group GL, N, R, of all invertible matrices. Because the exponential map is surjective on some neighborhood N of E, it is common to call elements of the Lie algebra infinitesimal generators of the group G. The subgroup of G generated by N is the identity component of G. The exponential map and the Lie algebra determine the local group structure of every connected Lie group, because of the Baker or Euro Camp Bella Euro Hausdorff formula, there exists a neighborhood U of the zero element of, such that for U, V and U we have where the omitted terms are known and involve lie brackets of four or more elements. In case U and V commute, this formula reduces to the familiar exponential law EXP, U, EXP, V, equals EXP, U plus V. The exponential map relates lie group homomorphisms. That is, if is a lie group homomorphism and the induced map on the corresponding lie algebras, then for all we have. In other words the following diagram commutes. In short, EXP is a natural transformation from the functor Lie to the identity functor on the category of Lie groups. The exponential map from the Lie algebra to the Lie group is not always onto, even if the group is connected. For example, the exponential map of SL, 2, R, is not surjective. Also, Exponential map is not surjective nor injective for infinite dimensional Lie groups modeled on Karl Fra copyright chert space, even from arbitrary small neighborhood of zero to corresponding neighborhood of one. See also, derivative of the exponential map and normal coordinates. Equals Lie subgroup equals, a Lie subgroup H of a Lie group G is a Lie group that is a subset of G in such that the inclusion map from H to G is an injective immersion and group homomorphism. According to Curtin's theorem, a closed subgroup of G admits a unique smooth structure which makes it an embedded Lie subgroup of Ga Euro that is a Lie subgroup such that the inclusion map is a smooth embedding. Examples of non-closed subgroups are plentiful. For example take G to be a torus of dimension a permel 2 yen, and let H be a one-parameter subgroup of irrational slope, that is one that wins around in G. Then there is a Lie group homomorphism IRG with H as its image. The closure of H will be a sub-torus in G. In terms of the exponential map of G, in general, only some of the Lie subalgebras of the Lie algebra G of G correspond to closed Lie subgroups H of G. 
there is no criterion solely based on the structure of G which determines which those are. Early history, according to the most authoritative source on the early history of Lie groups, Sophosly himself considered the winter of 1873 Euro 1874 as the birth date of his theory of continuous groups. Hawkins, however, suggests that it was Lie's prodigious research activity during the four-year period from the fall of 1869 to the fall of 1873 that led to the theory's creation. Some of Lie's early ideas were developed in close collaboration with Felix Klein. Lai met with Klein every day from October 1869 through 1872, in Berlin from the end of October 1869 to the end of February 1870, and in Paris Georgia paragraph Tingen and Delangen in the subsequent two years. Lai stated that all of the principal results were obtained by 1884. But during the 1870s all his papers were published in Norwegian journals, which impeded recognition of the work throughout the rest of Europe. In 1884 a young German mathematician, Friedrich Engel, came to work with Lie on a systematic treatise to expose his theory of continuous groups. From this effort resulted the three-volume theory Der Transformationsgruppen, published in 1888, 1890, and 1893. Lie's ideas did not stand in isolation from the rest of mathematics. In fact, his interest in the geometry of differential equations was first motivated by the work of Carl Gustav Jacobi, on the theory of partial differential equations of first order and on the equations of classical mechanics. Much of Jacobi's work was published posthumously in the 1860s, generating enormous interest in France and Germany. Lysida copyright E. Fikes was to develop a theory of symmetries of differential equations that would accomplish for them what a permalvarist Gaulois had done for algebraic equations, namely, to classify them in terms of group theory. Lai and other mathematicians showed that the most important equations for special functions and orthogonal polynomials tend to arise from group theoretical symmetries. In Lai's early work, the idea was to construct a theory of continuous groups to complement the theory of discrete groups that are developed in the theory of the modular forms, in the hands of Felix Klein and Henri Poincaré copyright. The initial application that Lie had in mind was to the theory of differential equations. On the model of Golois theory and polynomial equations, the driving conception was of a theory capable of unifying, by the study of symmetry, the whole area of ordinary differential equations. However, the hope that Lie theory would unify the entire field of ordinary differential equations was not fulfilled. Symmetry methods for ODEs continue to be studied, but do not dominate the subject. There is a differential Golois theory, but it was developed by others, such as Picard and Vesic, and it provides a theory of quadratures, the indefinite integrals required to express solutions. Additional impetus to consider continuous groups came from ideas of Bernhard Riemann on the foundations of geometry, and their further development in the hands of Klein. Thus three major themes in 19th century mathematics were combined by Lyon creating his new theory, the idea of symmetry, as exemplified by Gaulois through the algebraic notion of a group. Geometric theory and the explicit solutions of differential equations of mechanics, worked out by Poisson and Jacobi and the new understanding of geometry that emerged in the works of Pla one quarter CKER, Ma Paragraph Bias, Grassmann and others, and culminated in Riemann's revolutionary vision of the subject. Although today Sophos lies rightfully recognized as the creator of the theory of continuous groups, a major stride in the development of their structure theory, which was to have a profound influence on subsequent development of mathematics, was made by Wilhelm Killing who in 1888 published the first paper in a series entitled Die Zusammensetzung der Stetigen Enlich und Transformationsgruppen. The work of Killing, later refined and generalized by a permal Lie Carton, led to classification of semisimple Lie algebras, Carton's theory of symmetric spaces, and Hermann Wells' description of representations of compact and semisimple Lie groups using highest weights. In 1900 David Hilbert challenged Lie theorists with his fifth problem presented at the International Congress of Mathematicians in Paris. Well brought the early period of the development of the theory of Lie groups to fruition, for not only did he classify irreducible representations of semisimple Lie groups and connect the theory of groups with quantum mechanics, 
but he also put lies theory itself on firmer footing by clearly enunciating the distinction between lies infinitesimal groups and the lie groups proper, and began investigations of topology of lie groups. The theory of lie groups was systematically reworked in modern mathematical language in a monograph by Claude Chevalier. The concept of a lie group, and possibilities of classification, lie groups may be thought of as smoothly varying families of symmetries. Examples of symmetries include rotation about an axis. What must be understood is the nature of small transformations, for example, rotations through tiny angles, that link nearby transformations. The mathematical object capturing this structure is called a lie algebra. It can be defined because lie groups are manifolds, so have tangent spaces at each point. The lie algebra of any compact lie group can be decomposed as a direct sum of an abelian lie algebra and some number of simple ones. The structure of an abelian lie algebra is mathematically uninteresting. The interest is in the simple summands. Hence the question arises. What are the simple Lie algebras of compact groups? It turns out that they mostly fall into four infinite families, the classical Lie algebras AN, BN, CN and DN, which have simple descriptions in terms of symmetries of Euclidean space. But there are also just five exceptional Lie algebras that do not fall into any of these families. E8 is the largest of these. Lie groups are classified according to their algebraic properties, their connectedness and their compactness. Compact lie groups are all known, they are finite central quotients of a product of copies of the circle group S1 and simple compact lie groups. Any simply connected solvable lie group is isomorphic to a closed subgroup of the group of invertible upper triangular matrices of some rank, and any finite dimensional irreducible representation of such a group is one dimensional. Solvable groups are too messy to classify except in a few small dimensions. Any simply connected nilpotent lie group is isomorphic to a closed subgroup of the group of invertible upper triangular matrices with ones on the diagonal of some rank, and any finite dimensional irreducible representation of such a group is one dimensional. Like solvable groups, nilpotent groups are too messy to classify except in a few small dimensions. Simple lie groups are sometimes defined to be those that are simple as abstract groups, and sometimes defined to be connected lie groups with a simple lie algebra. For example, SL, 2, R, is simple according to the second definition but not according to the first. They have all been classified. Semisimple lie groups are lie groups whose lie algebra is a product of simple lie algebras. They are central extensions of products of simple lie groups. The identity component of any Lie group is an open normal subgroup, and the quotient group is a discrete group. The universal cover of any connected Lie group is a simply connected Lie group, and conversely any connected Lie group is a quotient of a simply connected Lie group by a discrete normal subgroup of the center. Any Lie group G can be decomposed into discrete, simple, and abelian groups in a canonical way as follows. Right. GCON for the connected component of the identity, XOL for the largest connected normal solvable subgroup, GNIL for the largest connected normal nilpotent subgroup, so that we have a sequence of normal subgroups, 1 ash GNIL ash XOL ash GCON ash G. Then, GGCON is discrete, GCON XOL is a central extension of a product of simple connected Lie groups. XOL GNIL is abelian. A connected abelian lie group is isomorphic to a product of copies of R and the circle group S1. GNIL slash 1 is nilpotent, and therefore its ascending central series has all quotients abelian. This can be used to reduce some problems about lie groups to the same problems for connected simple groups and nilpotent and solvable subgroups of smaller dimension. The diffeomorphism group of a lie group acts transitively on the lie group, every lie group is parallelizable and hence an orientable manifold. Infinite dimensional lie groups, lie groups are often defined to be finite dimensional, but there are many groups that resemble lie groups, except for being infinite dimensional. The simplest way to define infinite dimensional lie groups is to model them on Banach spaces, and in this case much of the basic theory is similar to that of finite dimensional lie groups. However this is inadequate for many applications, 
because many natural examples of infinite dimensional Lie groups are not Banach manifolds. Instead, one needs to define Lie groups modeled on more general locally convex topological vector spaces. In this case, the relation between the Lie algebra and the Lie group becomes rather subtle, and several results about finite dimensional Lie groups no longer hold. The literature is not entirely uniform in its terminology as to exactly which properties of infinite dimensional groups qualify the group for the prefix Lie and Lie group. On the Lie algebra side of affairs, Things are simpler since the qualifying criteria for the prefix Lie in Lie algebra are purely algebraic. For example, an infinite dimensional Lie algebra may or may not have a corresponding Lie group. That is, there may be a group corresponding to the Lie algebra, but it might not be nice enough to be called a Lie group, or the connection between the group and the Lie algebra might not be nice enough. It is the nice enough that is not universally defined. Some of the examples that have been studied include, the group of diffeomorphisms of a manifold. Quite a lot is known about the group of diffeomorphisms of the circle. Its Lie algebra is the Witt algebra, which has a central extension called the Virasoro algebra, used in string theory and conformal field theory. Diffeomorphism groups of compact manifolds of larger dimension are regular Fra copyright Chet Lie groups. Very little about their structure is known. The diffeomorphism group of space-time sometimes appears in attempts to quantize gravity. The group of smooth maps from a manifold to a finite dimensional Lie group is an example of a gauge group, and is used in quantum field theory and Donaldson theory. If the manifold is a circle these are called loop groups, and have central extensions whose Lie algebras are kaka Moody algebras. There are infinite dimensional analogues of general linear groups, orthogonal groups, and so on. One important aspect is that these may have simpler topological properties, see for example Cooper's theorem. In M-theory theory, for example, a 10-dimensional SU, N, gauge theory becomes an 11-dimensional theory when N becomes infinite. A specific example is that is equal to the group of area-preserving diffeomorphisms of a torus. See also. Notes equals explanatory notes equals equals citations equals references Adams John Frank lectures on lie groups Chicago lectures in mathematics Chicago University of Chicago press ISBN 0 226 0 5 2 7 5 mr. o two five two five six zero. Borel Armand essays in the history of lie groups and algebraic groups History of Mathematics 21, Providence, Rhode Island American Mathematical Society, ISBN 978-0-8218-0288-5, Mr. 1847105, Burbaki, Nicholas, Elements of Mathematics, Lie Groups and Lie Algebras. Chapters 1 Euro 3 ISBN 3-540-64242-0. Chapters 4 a Euro 6 ISBN 3-540-42650-7 Chapters 7 a Euro 9 ISBN 3-540-43405-4 Chevalli, Claude, Theory of Lie Groups, Princeton, Princeton University Press, ISBN 0-691-04990-4 P.M. Cohn Lie Groups Cambridge Tracts in Mathematical Physics, J. L. Coolidge A History of Geometrical Methods, pages 304 a Euro 17, Oxford University Press. Fulton, William. Harris, Joe, Representation Theory. A First Course, Graduate Texts in Mathematics, Readings in Mathematics 129, New York, Springer Verlag. ISBN 978-0-387-97495-8, Mr. 1153249, ISBN 978-0-387-97527-6, Robert Gilmore Lie Groups, Physics, and Geometry, An Introduction for Physicists, Engineers and Chemists, Cambridge University Press ISBN 
9780521884006. Hall, Brian C., Lie Groups, Lie Algebras, and Representations, An Elementary Introduction, Springer, ISBN 0-387-40122-9. F. Reese Harvey Spinners and Calibrations, Academic Press, ISBN 0-12-329650-1. Hawkins, Thomas, Emergence of the Theory of Lie Groups, Sources and Studies in the History of Mathematics and Physical Sciences, Berlin, New York, Springer Verlag. ISBN 978-0-387-98963-1, Mr. 1771134 Borel's Review, Helgeson, Sigurda, Differential Geometry, Lie Groups, and Symmetric Spaces, Graduate Studies in Mathematics 34, Providence Rhode Island American Mathematical Society, ISBN 978-0-8218, 2848-9, Mr. 1834454, Knapp, Anthony W., Lie Groups Beyond an Introduction, Progress in Mathematics 140, Boston, Burger Currency User, ISBN 0-8176-4259-5. Nigen Wiss, Albert. Review, Lie Groups, by P. M. Cohn. Bulletin of the American Mathematical Society 65, 338 Euro 341 DOI, 10.1090 per second 0002 9904, 1959 10358X. Rossman, Wolf, Lie Groups, An Introduction Through Linear Groups, Oxford Graduate Texts in Mathematics, Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-859683-7. The 2003 reprint corrects several typographical mistakes. Sattinger, David H. Weaver, OL Lie Groups and Algebras with Applications to Physics, Geometry, and Mechanics. Springer Verlag. ISBN 3-540-96240-9. Mr. 0835009. Sir, John Pierre, Lie Algebras and Lie Groups, 1964 Lectures Given at Harvard University, Lecture Notes in Mathematics 1500, Springer, ISBN 3 540 55008 9. Stillwell, John. Naive Lie Theory. Springer. ISBN 0-387-98289-2. Haldeman Verlag Journal of Life Theory, Warner, Frank W., Foundations of Differentiable Manifolds and Lie Groups, Graduate Texts in Mathematics 94, New York Berlin Heidelberg, Springer Verlag, ISBN 978-0-387-90864. Mr. 0722297, Steve, Willie Hans, Continuous Symmetries, Lie Algebras, Differential Equations and Computer Algebra, 2nd Edition, World Scientific Publishing, ISBN 981-270-809-X, Mr. 2382250. Lie Groups. Representation Theory and Symmetric Spaces Wolfgang Ziller, Volsung 2010.